Hey, 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 Aquarius, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. So let's see what is going on for you today, Aquarius. All right, so your overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. All right, your challenge card is the Death card. And your overall, oh, uh, <laughs> your outcome, Aquarius, is the ace of wands so i'm going to channel each card for a minute and then i'm going to clarify okay so we can get into it but the wheel of fortune okay can talk about karma can talk about destiny and fate coming in and changing your world can talk about uh you having influence over uh stopping the wheel okay um i get sometimes speeding it up in a particular direction Okay, a series of events, okay, are about to take place that will determine your course over the next 16 months. That's specific, Bob. Um, just the saying, there is no Bob. <laughs> but over the next 16 months, um, okay. Uh, interesting because I believe I don't know when Saturn changes to Aries but that may be in line with that I know um, it's in Pisces right now and Saturn stays in a sign for two and a half years so check to see when Saturn switches to Aries because it's the end of a 28 and a half year cycle and it will be the beginning of a new one so you're gonna be on a particular trajectory okay um, and this is the beginning of it. This is like the end and the beginning. It's a 10. So clarifying this is the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, and the Three of Swords. Wow. So you get a lot. I'm noticing a lot of red here. So the Root Chakra um, is really going to be highlighted. That is, it can be the Sexual Chakra, but more importantly, it is the, the Security the feeling of security rooting somewhere right like when you buy a home and you build a home you're rooting somewhere um the knight of cups here i feel like somebody could be coming in and offering you something but this all depends on your heart this all depends on your healing okay i don't want to say how fast you're healing but I want to say that destiny, okay, fate may step in, okay, yeah, and give you the opportunity to speed up this momentum. I'm not sure what's going to happen to give you an option of speeding up. Aha, that's what it is. So the high priestess is the keeper of secrets, but she is very, very intuitive, right? Uh, so if you start meditating and increasing your light and increasing your intuition, this will increase your healing because you will just know what to do next, what to do next, where to look, where to look, where to look. If you ignore what, what has been nudging you, okay, this will take longer, okay? And that's why I got that notion of time with the wheel. So you have the chance of speeding this up and getting to this love earlier okay if you pay attention to those intuitive nudges go meditate 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 and then meditate again set aside time to meditate every day consistency will give you results i promise you that now yeah the five of wands so i'm getting this with the knight of cups there may be sort of a competition for somebody could be you could be somebody else who the king of swords hmm. if there is a competition i don't think there is any comparison to you nope because this is a twin 
okay, with the eight of um with the eight of swords, knight of wands. All right, what I'm feeling is that within this competition, okay, seven of wands, within this competition, you're going to be patient, by the way. There are players, and this person is going to pick up the players, all right, uh, pretty quickly. That's why you stand out. You're not a knight. You're a king and possibly an emperor. You're showing up as a king over here. Nine of swords. So if you get into this state, this anxiety, this fear, go meditate. Every time you feel off, go meditate. <clears throat> if that isn't working, take a nap. That's why Abraham Hicks says, right? Every time you fall asleep and you wake up, you're in a different place. So if you feel like shit and your head is all discombobulated, take a nap for an hour and see how you feel when you wake up. Um, I would try meditation first, but sometimes that just doesn't work because your mind is just going a mile a minute and you can't stop. So the death and the rebirth is your challenge card. That is that healing. Your death and rebirth timing depends on you, depends on choice, right? And this is why it's challenging sometimes to understand the timing in a tarot, to ask the tarot for timing because there's so much free will involved. Yes, you may have destined points along the way where you have to be here at a specific time, um, but when it comes to um, the in-between points, which I feel this is, right, it's up to you how fast you go. So, oh, let me channel this death. Okay, it's settling a score with the soul. With the soul. It, this is like, hmm, it's interesting because it's, it's actually reflecting on the outside, the five of wands. I'm getting this on the inside. There is the struggle that you have going on on the inside. Okay, it may be a struggle to rebirth, say. And it's like a fight with the soul, right? What is death? Where's your soul going, right? Uh, death is a transition of the soul. And I feel like this is a big transition of the soul. Now, remember, we are in a time of awakening. So awakening is waking up from a sleep, which is, which is transitioning. So in a sense, we are all dying on this earth to be reborn anew and to look through our experience with new eyes look to the earth with new eyes okay because it is a new world so ten of wands the three of cups and the sun card you're like you know hallelujah this is it i am open finally finally this is breaking free from the struggle no matter what you decide there is no wrong decision all right whether you decide to rebirth and not not have much difference in your past um, experiences, that's fine. That's your choice. Or if it's a major shift, right? That's also your choice. So when you're talking about awakening right now, you've got a spiritual war going on between the dark and the light. So it doesn't matter which direction you're going in. We all choose and we're all both. So Know that and don't feel bad about one or the other. Just be you and make those choices based on you. Don't feel that, you know, I don't know what's weighing on you here, but look at them. You're intelligent. Look at them first if you need to intelligently. And then take that information and address it in your heart space. What do you get? What do you get? Just check and see. The Three of Cups is reunion, and this is a reconciliation. It, I feel like judgment, reconciliation of the soul. You're reconciling with your soul, and you're coming out free with the sun card. What is the sun? When you walk out, right, and you feel that sunlight on your face, it's like, oh, it's a feeling of freedom. You release resistance, and you just allow the beams of the light to enter you, right, to... Um, 
imbue you with their warmth, with its warmth, not they. <laughs> We've got one sun. Um, so the Ace of Wands, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself right now. The Ace of Wands is um, the outcome here. So this is about taking action. This is about passion, right? Let's see what the Ace of Wands is. Ah, accentuating your positive aspects of your soul and following through with those positive aspects in a particular direction, in a particular path, okay? So you're examining your aspects of yourself, okay? Despite the sadness from the past, okay? Because you're shifting your perspective. You're no longer focusing on the negative. The positive is bringing you uh, sort of a, putting a light under your ass and, you know, um, shooting you off into, into um, I don't want to say, well, into the light because light is information, okay? You're going to know where you're going. There is no question. You're not going to question it. So no more feeling like you lack something because you're finding something. You're finding that information, okay? That uniqueness about you. What is your gift? I feel like you may be finding one, discovering the beginning of one, okay? So keep unearthing this gift and don't stop. You may think it's nothing. No, it's something. So keep unearthing it, okay? You're not missing anything. You're not missing any piece that you need to fill in to this gift. But you, you have all the information inside. So Ten of Swords, you're walking away from the old version of you and you're creating a new. Now you may be walking away from a place of living, um, etc., a job, but you're walking into something new and you're seeing that new reflection and you're like, wow, this decision that I'm making is in alignment and in integrity with where I want to go. Okay. Yeah, so you're following your intuition. And this, in turn, may be bringing you a water sign here. May be bringing you uh, a love that you seek because you're shifting to a new path. So what's going to happen is new people are going to show up on that new path. Okay? So your advice, Aquarius, is to heal. And this is this goes for a lot of signs today, apparently. Okay, the order of the day is healing and regenerating the spirit and soul, so that you can look to the world with new eyes and make decisions that are best for you. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in a personal reading. You can go to your sacred scribe .com or you can join me live every day. And ask a question for 777 in Super Chat or PayPal. You have a wonderful day and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of Love Tarot. Namaste Aquarius.